What's up, Rideshare community? It is Lawrence reporting another day driving for Uber. It is Wednesday and it is 9.14 p.m. And this is actually the latest I've driven in a while. And I resulted in about eight hours and 26 minutes of online time resulting in $125. Um, today, I was actually throwing a curveball in the middle of my day. So I was in the flow of things, going hard, and I was at about $86, I think. I think it was around my 10th ride. And it was in the middle of rush hour, and my phone was at 3%. I don't know how I overlooked it. I'm not sure if my charging cable isn't working or my or if it's my car charger adapter. Um, either one either way I have to get a new one because it seems like it's um, it's not working no more. Uh, I plug it in and it's it says it's charging, but it's just kind of stabilizing the same percentage or and it's slowly dying. And I kind of noticed that like not too long ago, but now like they put me in a situation to where I missed out on income. And no worries, the cool thing about Uber that I always preach about is the flexibility. So I was able to drive back home. It took about 30 to 40 minutes to drive back home. And then I I rested for 40 minutes and charged my phone to about over 50%. And then when I got back online, it took about another 30 minutes to get pink for another ride request. So it, it was a big waste of time and I'm not really sweating it. I'm not really upset. But now I just have to order a new car charger AC adapter. And yeah, uh, until that comes in, I'm gonna be have I'm gonna have to be really conservative with usage of my phone to keep that battery life um, alive throughout the day. I'm probably going to switch it to uh, power mode to where it utilizes the battery in the most efficient way to where it's saving battery. Um, but it's alright. I, I am still satisfied with the results. Um, even though I'd rather be home right now early getting ready for bed. Adapted and overcame and That's one of the cool things I learned in being in the military is just With the given situation with the resources you have you just make it work And I still put in managed to put in eight hours online time and I'm living with the results um, So I was looking at the calendar and I noticed that there's some days accounted unaccounted for. Like I did the four weeks of August and my goal is to make 4,000 at least every month. And that's accounting for four weeks, but there's, we're still in August. And this half of this week is still, the first three days is still August. It's August 31st right now. And there's a overage of days in September as well. It's kind of, these days are bridging month to month. And it's extra days that I didn't account for. So technically I am, even though this week is kind of a fluke and I'm not doing as well as I've been doing, um, I'm 
actually it actually puts me ahead of schedule. So technically I'm ahead of schedule, even though technically I'm not reaching my looks like I'm not gonna reach my 1k this week. I still can, but as of right now, I'm behind on pace compared to what I usually do. Because usually I, I hit about 160 minimum to 200 a day. And I've been short of that every day of this week. And it's because of controlling factors. I'm not waking up early. And yeah, that's, that's the biggest factor. But considering that there are some extra days and I was looking at the rest of the calendar year, it's like that every month there's just extra days bridging from month to month to where I, I can take a loss in a week and still be all right and still hit 20K. So that's one cool thing that's, um, putting me positive <laughs> um, but I do I, I will have some weeks I'm going to lose such as the holidays I'm going to get my son in, on Thanksgiving I'm not going to be driving the whole week or probably half the week prior to that and then Christmas um, I'm going to have some days off so but the big one's Thanksgiving week. I'm not gonna drive at all because I'm gonna have my son and I'm gonna put my full attention on him. But as far as the extra days that I didn't realize for each month, um, that's extra income that is gonna go towards my 20K goal. And I'm all right right now. So even if I don't hit 1K this week, I'm still ahead of schedule. But I'm still gonna try to hit that 1K. Just so I can still build that strong paradigm of just making that 1K every week to where it's just automatic. And it has been for the past four weeks, but just this fifth week is just, I am, you know, it's a goal. It's a, it's a long goal, long-term goal. And goals aren't supposed to be easy there's going to be challenges and obstacles and obviously I'm going through one right now so it's all right I'm just gonna take the learning curves the collective data I have optimize and just make it work somehow and knowing that of the calendar of the extra days every month that's actually good news so, yeah, but yeah, I am, uh, I've been very excited lately. I've been thinking about that angle and adding two to three cars to my fleet and how the next phase of my life is just going to be just another level for me. And I am very excited. I'm going to make some bigger goals when I reach this goal. And I'm, I'm going to expand this channel to um, just to share my experience with the Toro host and all the business ventures that I'm going to get into. Uh, once I reach the end goal by January 1st, I'm going to go back to Uber and Lyft part time so I can still, you know, proceed on with the, that aspect of this channel. And but I, in general, this is just going to be a channel about just empowerment of bettering yourself economically, um, spiritually, and mentally. And I feel like I have a lot of good knowledge that I was given, and I just want to pass it forward to the next guy so he can, he or she can you know, do good things with it and develop into the best possible person that person could be. 
So that is my goal with this channel I'm making. And I am very excited. I appreciate everyone who's just following my journey right now. And yeah, today was okay. Um, and uh, I'm living with the results. I put in the time, even though I didn't get the financial financial result I wanted. I still put in the time and I did the best I could and I'm living with the results. Um, but if you have anything to comment about, to elaborate on anything I said or have any questions, please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Until then, good night.